Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 24 on graph theory. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about path matrix or reachability matrix of a graph. Uh, we have discussed about adjacency matrix in previous two lectures. Adjacency matrix is also a matrix which is used to represent a given graph. So this is also another representation for a given graph and uh, that representation is called path matrix. So we are going to understand the definition of path matrix or we are going to understand that how to represent a graph using its path matrix. So suppose we have some graph say capital G which we generally denote by order pair V comma E and suppose number of vertices in G is small n or in other words we can say that cardinality of this set v which is the vertex set is n suppose there are n vertices in a given graph g then path matrix of g is a square matrix of order n and it is generally denoted by capital p and it is having entries p i j where this p i j ijth entry of matrix p is either 1 or 0 now when we write p i j equal to 1 so we write p i j equal to 1 if there is a path from vertex v i to vertex v j if there exist a path from vertex v i to vertex v j then we will write p i j equal to 1 and if there does not exist a path from one vertex to another vertex then the corresponding entry will be 0. So this is the definition of path matrix. It is always a 0 1 matrix and 0 1 matrix is called boolean matrix. Path matrix is always a boolean matrix with entries either 0 or 1 ijth entry is 1 if there is a path from vertex vi to vertex vj otherwise we write 0 this is the definition of path matrix they can ask you to write down the definition of path matrix here i have written systematically let g equal to order pair ve be a simple diagram in which cardinality of vertex set v is n that is there are n vertices or nodes and the nodes of g are assumed to be ordered that is we will consider particular ordering of vertices of g suppose there are n vertices then either we can choose this order v1 v2 vn or if we wish we can choose v2 vn v3 v4 vn so uh, that matrix depends on the ordering of the vertices so first we have to give particular order to the vertices of given graph before writing the entries of path matrix so that is the meaning of this line that nodes of g are assumed to be ordered an n by n matrix capital p whose elements or entries are given by p i j equal to 1 if there exists a path from vertex vi to vertex vj and zero otherwise is called the path matrix another name is reachability matrix of the graph g here i have taken one diagram and we will uh, find out the path matrix for this diagram here we can see that there are five vertices in this graph therefore path matrix will be of order 5 square matrix of order 5 and we will consider the ordering of vertices in this way suppose I consider this order v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and here also I have to write v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 so we are trying to write the path matrix for a given graph with respect to 
this ordering of vertices suppose vertices are ordered in this way v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 so we have to write five rows and five columns we start from first vertex uh, so this entry corresponds to vertex v1 to itself so this entry is 1 if there exist a path from v1 to v1 so we can see from this graph that if i go along this path i start from v1 i go along this path v1 to v4 then v4 to v2 and from v2 to v1 that is there exist a path from v1 to itself therefore we will write this entry equal to 1 this entry is 1 because there exist a path from v1 to itself similarly i have to check whether there exist a path from v1 to v2 so that is also obvious we can go along this path from v1 to v2 that is there exist a path from v1 to v2 also therefore we write 1 here then i have to check whether there exist a path from v1 to v3 so that is obvious this path exist from v1 to v3 so here i write 1 from v1 to v4 we have this path so this is 1 from v1 to v5 v5 is here so if i go along this path no i cannot go in this way if i go in this direction then also there is a problem so it is clear that there is no path from v1 to v5 so that entry is 0 now we write for vertex v2 whether there exist a path from v2 to v1 so obviously it is 1 there exist an directed edge from v2 to v1 from v2 to v2 we have to check so we can see if i start with v2 and if i go along this path i find a path from v2 to v2 so this entry is 1 from v2 to v3 also we can go if we go along this path v2 to v1 then v1 to v4 and from v4 to v3 so there exist a path from v2 to v3 also then from v2 to v4 so i have to find a path from v2 to v4 so there is a path from v2 to v4 and you can see there is no edge which is going into vertex v5 all there is only one edge that is coming out of v5 so there is no path from v1 v2 v3 v4 to v5 so in this way i have to check for each and every vertex now i check for vertex v3 can i go from v3 to v1 so answer is yes we can go from v3 to v1 from v3 to v2 also there is a path from v3 to v3 we have to move along this cycle so that is also one v3 to v4 we can go in this way v3 to v4 can be reached in this way so here also one and zero here now we write for v4 from v4 to v1 we can go along this path so there is a one here from v4 to v2 there is only one is which is from v4 to v2 that will be a path from v4 to v2 from v4 to v3 uh, we have to move in this direction first we move from v4 to v2 then from v2 to v1 then from v1 to v4 and again from or we can simply go in this way v4 to v3 there is a directed edge from v4 to v3 so here also we have one from v4 to v4 uh, we have to go along this path i am going from v4 to v3 then from v3 to v2 then from v2 to v1 and v1 to v4 so there is a path from v4 to itself and this is zero we have seen that there is no path from v1 v2 v3 v4 any of these vertices to v5 now we check for 
v5 from v5 to v1 if i go along this path v5 to v3 then v3 to v2 and from v2 to v1 so there exist a path from v5 to v1 therefore i write one here from v5 to v2 also there is a path similarly from v5 to v3 also there is a path so here these two entries are one and we can go from v5 to v4 again along this path you can see from v5 to v3 then v3 to v2 v2 to v1 and v1 to v4 so there exist a path from v5 to v4 also and from v5 to v5 we cannot go because there is no loop at v5 and there does not exist any path along which we can move from v5 to itself so this is zero so this is the required path matrix for a given graph using the definition we have obtained this path matrix for this graph using definition there is another way to obtain the path matrix from given graph and uh, it is known as varsal's algorithm that we will discuss in upcoming lecture using varsal's algorithm also we can obtain path matrix of the given graph in this lecture we have used the definition of path matrix to obtain the path matrix for this graph in upcoming lecture we will use varsal's algorithm to obtain the path matrix corresponding to this graph and uh, this is all about this session i hope you like it thanks for watching